So today on Beans, Brews and Bread, we're gonna go and uh, try and harvest some garlic. Hmm, don't think we like the look of what we've got though. Let's go and have a look. Here we are on the allotment today, having a look at the garlic harvest. We've pulled all the garlic up, apart from the elephant garlic, which is uh, still growing strong. Uh, that's all uh, gone to seed now. Um, hopefully provide some uh, useful food for the pollinators, uh, bees and uh, the like, hoverflies. Um, but a bit of a mixed result with the garlic harvest, unfortunately. 50% has gone to rot. Uh, wasn't looking too bad until a few weeks ago, but pulling it up today, uh, easily half of it is uh, rotten. Uh, and uh, not, uh, some of them haven't even bulbed up. Um, but I'll just show you what we've got now in terms of the uh, usable harvest which we've brought into the shed to dry today. Garlic harvest all up now. Elephant garlic left in. Let's see if they get uh, any bigger. That one's gone over there, I think. So all the onions taken out, all the garlic. As I'll show, a bit of a middling result there with the uh, garlic harvest, unfortunately. And we've left the red onions in as well. So you can carry on building up a little bit. And what I've put in here is a surprise for next month's blog. Here on the uh, top rack of this uh, old uh, sort of little mini greenhouse, we've got the uh, garlic um, drying. Hopefully, uh, to lose any more to any rot or anything like that uh, but uh, as you can see uh, they're not the biggest bulbs you've ever seen um, they do feel a little bit squishy to the touch we have had good garlic harvests before but I think the last few years um, we've not had the best and we have had a very very long dry spring so I wonder whether they've not had as much uh, opportunity to bulb up and uh, you know make uh, nice clothes they're not too bad what's a focus um, but uh, yeah not uh, not the best harvest we've had unfortunately with the garlic but uh, onwards and upwards where there's been um, in the ground where there's been a bit of uh, compost the fair better but half of them uh, haven't survived unfortunately so and they're not the biggest cloves so we'll let these dry see where we get I've also pulled the um, we've harvested the onions as well uh, we've pulled those up and they're drying on the next few racks down but they're much better size much better harvest still sort of medium to smallish bulbs, heavier ones at the bottom. Um, but that's just the white onions. Hopefully we'll get uh, some to store. But yeah, we've harvested the white onions as well. The red onions are still left in the ground, but we'll uh, let these dry off and uh, get them into storage, hopefully. Yep. Here we have the well, remainder of the garlic harvest. Look at that tiny little, no thicker, thicker than your forefinger. Definitely caught some kind of rot. Green rot? Greeny blue? Not quite sure what that is. And then you can see here, look, not very nice. A little ladybird larva there. Um, but yeah, not fed very well, not bulbed up. That's easily 50% of the harvest. Look at that, not even bigger than a spring onion, not healthy. So I'll have to try next year something different or not bother. But yeah, a few other people I know, um, Jessie on uh, her development vlog has had a very poor garlic harvest. Looks like I've uh, come down with easily 50% unusable through this uh, combination of white rot not bulbing up. Yeah, a bit disappointing, but Onwards and upwards, try again next year. There's 
the rain. Much welcome it is too. Thanks for coming along today on Beans, Brews and Bread while I uh, harvest, well, try and harvest some garlic. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen today, then I'd be grateful if you uh, gave it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to be notified of the next time we have a harvest video or when I do the, uh, the allotment vlog or planting vlogs, then uh, subscribe. If you have any suggestions or comments or any thoughts about what you think might have struck the uh, garlic harvest this year, uh, then uh, comment in the uh, comments below. But thanks for coming and we'll see you next time. Bye.